learning about base 10 blocks. So I'm going to do a little introduction for you guys. Um, base 10 blocks can look like this big square, they can look like this little rectangular line, or they can even look like this. They're just one little spot. They all also represent numbers. So this big square represents 100, this line represents 10, and this represents 1. So we have 100, we have 10, and we have 1. Another way that we can use base 10 blocks other than just seeing how they represent numbers is we can see how you can add and subtract numbers. So if we have 10 plus 10 plus 10, we would have 30, right? So we could visually see that we have 30. If we subtracted 10 from 30, we have 1, 2, 3, subtract the 10. Now we can see that we only have 20. We can add them back together like this. If we have 20 and we want to make 30, we can add another one and make it 30. So 20 plus 10 is 30, 30 minus 10 is 20. Another way we can use base 10 blocks is we can use them to create numbers. So we can say if you have two of these and one of these, we would have 21 because this equals one and this equals 20. So we can make 21 out of this. And we can even do really big numbers like 123. We can do 100, 20, 3. We would have 3. <laughs> we would have 100, 20, 3 to make 123. See, there's many things we can do with that. On your own, why don't you think about what would happen if we had 4 tens. So what we have 4 tens and we have two ones. What number does this mean? 